Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to show you how you can configure your Trino to work with your hoodie data set uh, with Hive Metastore, external Hive Metastore and MinIO as our object store. This video focuses only on the configuration settings so your time is valuable without wasting any of it let's get straight into the action. So in order to show you and teach you, we need Trino, we need Hive Metastore and we can leverage Docker. I'll focus on the configuration and settings that you need to use. All right, back to the project repository. So the first thing that I would like to cover is the docker compose.yml file. This is where I would need to cover all the information. So first we are going to use the Trino image. I'm using the uh, version uh, 400. The newer version, um, you know, there has been some changes. Uh, in the Java version, etc. So I'm using an older version for the demo. A port, right? And then uh, we mount the volume. So now the important thing that you need to do is I have a folder called Trino and inside that I have certain files. So let's go over that one by one. So I, I have a folder called catalog where I have hive.properties. So the connector that we will be using here is uh, hive. We will provide the metastore URI, the hive metastore URI. Since the Hive Metastore is running on Docker, uh, if I can show you over here, Hive Metastore, right? The, I'm using the container name as a, as a host name and it runs on port 9083. I provide the object store, uh, you know, access and secret keys since we are using min.io as our object store, they would be admin and the password. Then I provide the S3 endpoint. I'm using the, the container name over here, okay? Uh, again, if you have deployed on EC2, you can simply swap this with the IP address, okay? So that's hive.properties and then let's open hoodie.properties. Similarly, connector name, we use the word hoodie. We provide the hive metastore URI and same thing. Access secret and S3 endpoint over here, okay? Hopefully makes sense. Then we have a file called node.properties. Here, uh, we simply define the plugin directory as you can see, and uh, the node data directory over here, okay? Then I have log properties. I do not have anything, but you can definitely enable, uh, you know, uh, them if needed. Uh, then I have config.properties. Uh, here we, uh, we set the coordinator to true, okay? Uh, we set the HTTP server port to 8080 so that you can see uh, the Trino uh, UI, right? And the discovery URI over here. Now, let me go back to the Docker Compose file. This is, uh, again, we're gonna be using Postgres as our Hive Metastore. So I'm using a Postgres 11, right, as you can see. Port 5432. Uh, again, this is the username password for my Postgres, okay? And the Metastore is gonna be using Postgres as the backend. So as you can see in the environment variable, I set that particular, you know, uh, driver or dot Postgres SQL dot driver. I provide the JDBC URL, uh, which is JDBC colon Postgres SQL colon slash slash. This is the database name, which is over here. If you come Metastore, uh, then, you know, the port and then the database name. The reason you see Metastore underscore DB, that's the host name, okay? The host name is usually always the container name. Again, you can play around with it, okay? So that makes sense. Uh, we provide the Hive username, the password, and, 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 and you know, uh, S3 access secret and the MinIO uh, endpoint over here. So rest everything is just default. I'm not using anything else. So hopefully made sense. So to provide an overview of this, we have a Trino image. Uh, right and then inside the folder uh, Trino we have a folder called catalog and inside catalog we have two files hoodie.properties and hive.properties okay so we covered that particular settings and then we are using Postgres as our hive metastore on the backend right so we are using Postgres 11 image over here the container name is metastore underscore db so that will be your host name okay and this is my actual hive metastore right and here in the environment, we define all the settings such as the the JDBC URL, the username, the password, the uh, the AWS access secret, which is our MinIO access secret key. Makes sense, right? So I covered that. Now what we can do is say Docker compose up hyphen hyphen build minus D. This will start all the containers running in the background. You can come to the Docker desktop, verify whether all of them are running. 
so I can come to uh, oops why am I okay let's see if I can expand this yep so as you can see these all containers are now in the running state now to verify whether things are working or not uh, I do have a sample Python file uh, where I create a sample hoodie table on Minio buckets okay so first we will create a spark session over here and we need this package. This is very important. Org.apache.hadoop uh, AWS package, right? We need that. And then in my Spark, I'm setting up the Minio access secret and the S3 endpoint. So I run this, I create my Spark session. I generate some sample data, as you can see, some just some fake data to play with. And then here are the settings because when I'm gonna write data to my hoodie data lake, which is on Minio, I am using the hive sync configuration here. So hoodie data data source dot hive sync mode, which is set to HMS hive metastore, right? This is the metastore URI. I have exposed port uh, 9083 and I'm using localhost, right? Hopefully made sense. Uh, hive sync database name is default and the table name. So that way now in Trino, I can query this particular data. So uh, let me see if I have my Chrome open. Do I have it open? Yes, I do. Uh, so if I go to buckets, Let's see if I can open up on a new tab. Localhost 9000. Username is going to be admin. Password is going to be password. Let me see. Yep. And then I have a bucket over here. I do not have any data. So let's write this sample data. Uh, hoodie should basically now sync the, you know, the metadata with Hive, uh, you know, with Hive. So now let's write this. Okay. So I'm going to run this particular cell. So now, you know, uh, this will write the data to our Minio buckets. So now it's in the running state. Let's go to our Minio refresher and I can see my uh, hoodie table over here, which is good. Now let's try to quit this with Trino. So over here, I'll say Trino uh, uh, colon slash slash the username password. I do not have a password. So I'm just using the username as admin localhost 8080 and I'm using the default. Then we can do show catalogs and I can see my hoodie catalog over here. Then I can say hoodie.default. So that's selecting the default database. I can see the tables. So that's your table. And now you can run your SQL queries over here. There you go. Works fine, right? So that's how you guys can uh, configure your, uh, that's how you can configure your Trino uh, to work with Hive external meta store and you can query your hoodie data sets. So I hope this video was useful. The settings configuration could be easily accessible on my GitHub uh, if needed. I, and also one more important note, if you are gonna use the latest Docker image for Trino, and if you're trying to query, uh, you know, hoodie, since there have been some changes going on with, uh, you know, some, some, they have pushed some updates that, that has some bugs right now. So I would say to use a lower version of Trino uh, for now. That's all I have for the video. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you found the integration guide useful. And if you do encounter any issues, let me know in the comment section and we can try our best to resolve it. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, and I will see you in the next video.